Are lasers and devices safe in skin of color? And the answer is yes. I hear so many people say, well, I've got dark skin, I can't do lasers. And that is just simply false. I'm Dr. Azadeh Shirazi, a board certified dermatologist, which basically means I help people regain confidence. I'm also the founder of Aussie MD Skincare. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I wanna talk about lasers that can be performed safely in skin of color, more melanin rich, darker skin tones. In my practice, I have over 20 lasers and devices and treat skin of color all the time. And I find that we just simply don't have as much information and education when it comes to skin of color than we do with melanin, poor skin or lighter skin tones. So I thought this video would be helpful for people that have darker skin tones to help guide you in terms of becoming more educated and informed about the nature of melanin-rich skin or skin of color. In dermatology, we call it melanin-rich because darker skin tones naturally produce more melanin. And we're gonna get into how that comes into play when it comes to lasers. But before we get started, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. And I love to hear from you, so drop me a comment if you have any questions after this video. First, let's talk about how darker skin is different than lighter skin tones. But there's really two factors in the skin that differentiates the two. One is melanocytes and their activity in producing melanin. So when we're referring to darker skin tones, traditionally used as Fitzpatrick type four, five, and six, which, which signifies darker, more melanin-rich skin versus type one and two, which has less melanin in their skin. And because they have more melanin, their response to external stimuli, whether it's heat, friction, any kind of disruption in their skin, if it's acne, a rash, a laser, their melanocytes are gonna be more robust and more reactive in forming melanin, the pigment that gives the skin color. So when we're talking about lasers, there's gonna be lasers that have a high affinity for melanin, which could mean that they can end up causing hyperpigmentation or even worse, hypopigmentation, the loss of color from the skin if they target melanin at the skin surface. So darker skin not only has more melanin, but their fibroblasts are more active than lighter skin tones. Fibroblasts are the cells in our skin that make collagen, which is a great thing when it comes to anti-aging, but it can also be problematic for healing, such as you know scarring, as darker skin tones are gonna to be more prone to overproducing collagen and therefore more prone to scarring and keloids because they just simply have more robust fibroblasts. Number two, the concerns we see in darker skin tones are often very different than concerns we see in lighter skin tones. Pigmentation. Patients tend to complain more about uneven skin tone, discoloration, hyperpigmentation left over from acne, and not so much wrinkles or thinner skin. Whereas in lighter skin tones, we see more fine lines and wrinkles earlier as an aging concern. So the type of treatment treatments we may offer patients with skin of color may be very different than ones with you know lighter skin tones. One of the myths that I hear are, well, I've got dark skin, I don't need to wear sunscreen. And that is absolutely false because sun protection is so key for dark skin. They do have more built-in protection, so they may not burn in the sun as quickly as fair skin individuals, but they can suffer from hyperpigmentation. So it's absolutely necessary for darker skin tones to wear sunscreen to protect their sun, particularly if they are thinking about doing laser treatments or any type of treatment in the office. So let's get into it. What are some lasers that we can do in skin of color? Well, number one, lasers that don't generate a lot of heat because heat is a trigger for hyperpigmentation. So for example, somebody with more melanin in their skin, I would never pick up a CO2 laser because that generates so much heat, I know that they're gonna get pigmentation that's gonna last for months and months, maybe even up to a year or longer. 
I'm gonna go for a cooler laser, one that doesn't generate a lot of heat. So something like the Erbium laser. One of my favorite lasers for darker skin is the Profractional laser. It is a fractionated Erbium laser, and I have used this in multiple skin of color patients that have done really well. And that's because this laser doesn't generate a lot of heat. It does nice smoothing, it helps with texture, it can remove pigmentation. So the Profractional is one of my favorites. Another laser one is called the pixel which is another fractionated erbium I find the profractional to be better it's more powerful and we can tune the laser to much varying degrees as opposed to the pixel but they are a great option for darker skin the profractional laser also is used to treat acne scars number two lasers that bypass the surface melanin and have longer wavelengths of light such as the 1064 nanometer and a YAG laser. This is a great laser for removing hair as well as veins and it's great at toning and firming the skin. It can be used as a tightening device. So it is considered a safe option for skin of color because the light penetrates beyond the surface melanin and targets the melanin that is deeper in the skin. Now there are different brand names for this laser. The one I have is called the Cutera. It has a 1064 nanometer laser. And then lastly, number three, lasers that don't necessarily target melanin, such as the halo laser. The halo targets water. So because of that, we don't have to worry about the laser taking out the melanin and giving you white discoloration or stimulating your skin to form too much melanin. We can tune it so that it doesn't use a lot of heat. So the halo laser is a great option with the right settings. I always tell people it's not really the machine or the device because any person can pick up a laser and operate it, but it's how it's operated that makes the difference. So the halo laser is great at removing pigmentation. It's great at smoothing the skin, tightening the skin, helping with skin texture and just boosting collagen in the skin. The halo laser is also very effective for treating acne scars. We can combine it with the profractional in skin of color. Now how we treat before and after the laser, the skin care we recommend for these different skin types are important. So if you've got darker skin and prone to pigmentation, aside from sunscreen, which I've already stressed, it's important to perhaps start you on a retinoid or a lightening cream, something with hydroquinone, to prep your melanocytes so that you're not going to overproduce melanin as a result of the laser. So these treatments and skincare regimens can also be tailored to your skin type depending on if you have darker skin or lighter skin. Now there are also devices and machines that are not technically lasers, they are not light based, but they do help skin rejuvenation. And that is something called microneedling, which is purely mechanical, so it doesn't use light or heat or anything like that. It's very safe for darker skin tones. It can help with acne scars. It can help with you know, skin rejuvenation. Now microneedling tends to be a lot more mild, so you may need more sessions to achieve similar results to lasers. Radio frequency and ultrasound are other technologies that we use in the office for skin tightening that are suitable for darker skin tones. In our office, we use a device called Exilus Ultra 360. And because that doesn't do anything to the surface melanin and doesn't target it, doesn't affect it, it bypasses it, it's safe to use in skin of color as a tightening device. Other ones that you may have heard of are things like Altherapy, Thermage. These are also safe for skin of color. Now, Morpheus 8 combines microneedling with radio frequency and really, again, is highly operator dependent. You could potentially get pigmentation from RF microneedling, so you have to be really cautious, but it can still be done safely in skin of color. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful and gave you a guideline to choosing lasers and devices based on your skin type and the degree of melanin that's found in your skin. I do think we need more information pertaining to skin of color, more education. There's not as much information on this topic as there could be. So I hope this video is helpful and serves as a guide. Thanks guys for tuning in. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe and comment below. Let me know what you wanna hear about next.